There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another random DOS game show. And unfortunately, it's Scunny. But on the plus side, it's my favorite Scunny game, Scunny Cart, which I used to play a lot growing up but have subsequently forgot how to play, obviously. And there's a problem. And I'll, I'll just I'll just get started with, I don't know, a practice or something. We've got various other options. I'll, I'll run through some of them in due course, including a terrible later track. But uh, I'll get to that. One player, 50cc, just Australia Cup, I think. But yeah, those of you who are familiar with a certain Apogee racer called Wacky Wheels... We'll look at this one and say, oh, good grief, that's familiar. And, you know, the, the more charitable among you will say, well, of course, they're both heavily inspired by Mario Kart. So here we are as handbag. And before I waffle on any further, controls are control and alt to turn and shift to hit that accelerator. And you've got various power ups and various things you want to avoid, like that smashing teddy bear, which is horrific. And you just uh, drive along and try and catch up with the almighty Scunny in his cart. Ah, ghosts. And here is the problem. You look at that, you think, well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? That's because that is the Terminator, and they've just ripped that sound. This wasn't uncommon in the DOS shareware scene. You know, it wouldn't be, uh it wouldn't be the first game to do it. But... And this is the big but. Yeah, they went even further with this one. There was a fella called Andrew Edwardson, and he approached a certain company, Copysoft, and said, Hey, I've got this prototype for a kart racing game. Would you be interested? And they said, No. No, we're not interested. So he sent them a CD, and on that CD, or floppy disk perhaps, I'm not sure, was the source code of the game. So what did Copysoft do with that? Did they call up Andrew and say, Hey, you left a CD with all the source code on it? No, they didn't. They didn't do that at all. So instead, they took the better version and they changed all the graphics and sound and sound effects and then renamed it with their token rodent mascot Scunny and ended up releasing it before Wacky Wheels was complete. And the problem with that is, well, the frame rate is slightly lower and Wacky Wheels has this thing called a handbrake turn. Drivers may be familiar with that, but trying to do some of these courses without a handbrake turn is a complete disaster. And the thing is, DOS, I mean, it had a few kart racing games. I mean, it had like Manic Karts and uh, BC Racers and stuff like that. But the jewel in the crown is obviously Wacky Wheels. This is very, very similar to Wacky Wheels. So Wacky Wheels fans might play this and think, oh yeah, yeah, this isn't bad. Because of the lack of amazing karting games for DOS. But it's not really a game. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It leaves a sour taste in the mouth, because at the time, we had no idea. Like, I played Scunny Kart back shortly after it was released in the mid-90s, and I had no idea that it was ripped from Wacky Wheels, because I never played Wacky Wheels growing up. It was only later, when I played Wacky Wheels, I, I, I looked at it and I was like, hold on. This is Scunny Kart, but with different monsters. How dare he rip off the legendary Scunny Kart? And then, of course, I found out. Uh, no, other way around. So, yeah. That's why this entire game is sort of prefaced with the big sort of asterisk. These days, it's a lot more common. Oh, by the way, I'm in first place, in case you didn't notice. But, uh, whether that'll last, I don't know. Yeah. You get a whole pile of asset flips, you get people using the same code or reusing code, and more recently you get people who just have AI write the code for them, reusing code. You know, gone are the days of the likes of Chris Sawyer who could just 
code anything from scratch. Instead, you have a preponderance of really, really mid-tier garbage. And that's unfortunately part of the legacy of uh, Copysoft and Scunny. So, we've had a little race. You can see what it is. Uh, let's just uh, show you <laughs> how, how irritating it can be. This is the UK Cup, Track 1. And if you've never played Track 1 on the UK Cup, prepare yourself. Because this is going to be a complete nightmare. Now, you'd probably think, oh, we'll pick Handbag, he's fast. And, you know, you could, you could go with Handbag. I wouldn't recommend it, though. And you'll see now. And you'll be looking at this and you're thinking, yes, that's typical UK weather. <laughs> Glacial. Oh, dear. It's like Scandinavia, not the UK. Shout out to all my Scandinavian fans and people living in Scandinavia. I know one or two who aren't Scandinavian but are living in Scandinavia. Now, I've picked up a missile. And you're probably thinking, well, hit the tab button, Lonnie. Use it. Use a power up. Nah, because in order to use the missile effectively, it has to lock on. And the lock on, you have to be really close to the enemy in order to pull it off. Oh, great. I'm small again. Fantastic. And you'll be seeing what's going wrong here. If you skid like that, you will spin. And that just makes it almost impossible to control and a complete nightmare if you've picked a character that goes quickly. And there's a Chris Isaac video on this on Pixel Amusement which goes into more detail as to what went wrong essentially with the gameplay. And he's quite harsh on it as well and rightly so. It was through his video that, uh, oh I'm playing Wacky Wheels, that I found out, oh hold on. <laughs> This is complete uh, rip-off. But in today's modern gaming age, I guess, those sins aren't really so bad anymore. Everything is a copy of everything else. Everything seems to have been done, and everyone has run out of ideas. It's very sad. You know, we live in a world where it just feels like everything is a shallow retread. And whether that's an age thing, whether that's just us getting older and having seen everything before, Oh, I briefly, I briefly passed the guy at last. That won't last. <laughs> won't last. You, you get what I'm saying. It's unfortunate. Yes, I'm waxing philosophical about the nature of modernity while playing Scunny Kart. Because, honestly, there's not much to see here. You know, if you are aware of Mario Kart or Wacky Wheels, then you know exactly what's here. And I ranked out. Because, of course I did. It's the UK Cup which is the most difficult one. Also, annoyingly, the computer can get high scores. So, if it runs a perfect race, then that's it. You know, there's no chance of you getting a high score. It'll try and convince you to play the UK Cup again, but I don't think we will. I think we'll exit out of that, because that was horrific. <laughs> uh, there's one more mode, though, that I'll show you, which, again, I'll, I'll not really play it properly, but you, you can... You can see that it was sort of tacked on. There's no time trials either or anything like that to, to practice the races or anything. There's Battle Zone though, which you can either play against your, you know, comrades in arms locally, which is what I used to do, or you can play against the computer and get completely spanked. The Battle Zone maps are a little different, but they're not that great. And you'll see the problem. So I'm going to do a brief fade out here and we'll get into battle zone. There are various power ups on the battle zone map, like invincibility or invisibility. You have three balloons and your job is to protect them. And the computer's job is to pick up a missile like that, hunt you down and destroy you. And they will do that quite effectively. You can see on the computer's split screen, that is slowly homing. And that homing missile, it can miss, like it did there. But, yeah, it's a matter of time before the computer hunts me down and gets my balloons. Now, I could try and grab a missile and, you know, make a showing of it. But, I, I'm just, I'm not that in 
confused by it. Yes, there are Simpsons clips, there are Looney Tunes clips. I mean, it's just the the copyright of this game. I don't know what they were thinking. Like, they'll never be able to sell this ever again. I don't think. Maybe they have. I must look that up sometime. But yeah. I'm fairly certain at this point that all these sound effects have been ripped off. And that's that's really sad. Really unfortunate. You know, they, maybe they didn't have the money to get their own sound effects or whatever, but... It just leaves a bad taste in my mouth now. Because, gameplay-wise, there is a game here. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. You know, I think I might just sabotage myself at this point. You can do that in the race when you're down to one balloon. There you go. <laughs> okay, so he qualified. That doesn't actually mean anything, because you don't qualify in the battles. And I ranked out. Apparently they just didn't bother changing the programming. And that's on version 1.4. So what is Scunny Cart? Scunny Cart is an unashamed rip-off of Wacky Wheels. But not as good, because it's based on a better version of the code that was stolen. There's no point in playing Scunny Cart unless you have absolutely exhausted Wacky Wheels and Mario Kart. If you have and you've played the Manic Kart series, then yeah, I suppose you could lump for Scunny, but I'd probably even play BC Racers before this. It's a shame, really, because a lot of the stuff used here is good, it's just it's not Copysofts to use. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, I do it all the time. Feel free to take a look at the hundreds of other videos, and if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. And if you can copy Lonnie, but choose not to because you're an ethical individual, then you might be one of my wonderful patrons or members. Look at those great names. So yeah, that's the end of that. Thank goodness I got that over with. Another scunny game down the drain. Until next time.